Hey, how's everybody doing today? We're doing pretty good so far. We've been dealing with rabbits, garden, farm, all the normal spring type stuff that we have going on. But today, we're going to talk about rabbits. You may wonder why I'm in my kitchen. Well, everything to do with the rabbits doesn't happen in a barn, which is where we have ours housed. We have some Angora rabbits. And we also have some double mane lion head. The people who know about rabbits, those breeds have exceptionally long hair. And when a rabbit licks itself to clean itself, just like a dog or a cat, they swallow their hair. Hair can get wrapped up in their intestines and cause a blockage. There's some things that you can do to help avoid that. And one of the major things is papaya. Okay, I have a fresh papaya right here. A couple of times a week, I will give papaya to my angoras and the lion heads. That way it helps dissolve the hair. But there are times that it doesn't work as well as what you'd like for it to work. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cut up a papaya and a pineapple, which are both extremely good in breaking up the uh, mm, hair blockage, I guess you would call it. I'm just going to cut my papaya in half. I've already washed this. So I'm going to juice the peel too. But the rabbits cannot eat the seeds. So I'm going to finish my chickens. They'll enjoy your treat. The rabbits will eat the papaya is pretty good. But, like I say, sometimes it's just not quite enough treating them ever so often with that. And you may be wondering, how do you know that? Well, a lot of people have their rabbits. Um, they don't have pans under the cages. And the rabbits, for lack of a better term, poop, falls down underneath the, uh, the cage. And every so often you clean it and scoop it up and you're done with it. Well, if you have a rabbit who's having digestive problems, you're not going to know that you had a problem most times until you come out and find your rabbit dead. We have trays underneath our cages which we clean every day or every other day. And when a rabbit starts to poop smaller poops and a lot less poops, you know that you have a problem with that rabbit. So we try to give it extra greens, some fruits. We have uh, probiotics that we give our rabbits. We have electrolytes that we give our rabbits. But all that stuff is another video. But right now, I'm just going to continue to cut this papaya up into the right size pieces to fit into my juicer. Okay, I have my papaya cut up over there, and I'm cutting a pineapple. Don't have to be quite as careful cutting a pineapple for the rabbits as what I do for my family. Because whenever I do for the family, I take the core and everything out, but I'm going to be juicing that for the rabbits. The rabbits can eat the pineapple skin, and some of them like it pretty well. But you can't give rabbits a lot of sweet treats. 
it's not good for their sugar levels. I never knew that until recently after we bought rabbits. But I can leave little bits like that right there on there and just run it through the juicer. And also, if you get a, uh, a rabbit from another place, a lot of times they don't give you transition food. And you will have issues with the rabbits going to the bathroom then too. And a little bit of pineapple is good to help with that along with other medications and whatnot. Like I say, we'll do other videos on that. But that just popped into my mind while I'm doing the pineapple. I do have clean hands. It's leaking at the side. Nah. And that's not something you want to catch on video, is it? Real life, guys. There, come on. I thought I had done that enough. But there you go, guys. Mess has happened. And this is real life. After we clean the mess up from the uh, juicer kind of overflowing there, I have my pineapple and papaya juice, and I have this little silicone mold for ice cubes that I bought at Walmart, which is absolutely perfect for rabbit juice. I pour it about halfway full, then I'm just going to put it in the freezer until it's all the way frozen. And then I'll take it out and put it in a uh, Ziploc bag. Because whenever you have one that's starting to have issues, you want your stuff ready now. Now this is just plain pineapple juice. I didn't have any papaya whenever I made this. And I also hadn't taken it out of the molds. But let's take this out of the mold now. I'll put it in a uh, baggie. And that way I have three more of these uh, spaces for my pineapple papaya juice. You ask uh, how much that I would give one? Well, normally I give about a half of one of these if I'm syringe feeding twice or three times a day or if I just put it in a bowl and let them lick it out they'll drink it pretty much as they want it I put it in at night that way it's cooler and it's usually gone by morning because they'll lick it right out but anyways I'm just gonna put this in the freezer and there's a little tidbit on what I'm doing today to try to keep my rabbits healthy but thanks for watching and we'll see you all on the next video